Greetings friends, welcome to California Preaching. Jesus is my rock and that's how I roll. I am gonna, oh, woo! Okay, you know a song that starts with a whistle, like a whoosh, at the beginning and it makes like, it's like a booty call to the dance floor. Okay, one of my favorites was Word Up by Cameo. Do you remember that song, Word Up? Okay, so it went a little bit like, Y'all pretty ladies around the world Got a weird thing to show you So tell all the boys and girls Tell your brother, your sister, and your mama too Cause they're going down and down And then you know just what to do Wave your hands in the air like you don't care What's the rest? Um, <laughs> uh, glide by the people as they stop to look and stare Do your dance do your dance, do your dance quick, mama. Let me tell you, baby, what's the word? A word up. That's the way. Anyway, okay, that's enough. We're good. We got it. We understand. So, word up has like a whole new meaning to me now as a Christian. I'm going to ask you to Spotify that song today. <laughs> you just gotta Spotify that song. I mean, you know, okay, maybe the lyrics are not like totally Christianized, I understand. But, you know, we gotta be word up for the Lord today. Word up. So here we go, into our holy notes. Um, all right. <clears throat> we just, <clears throat> okay, oh, oh, this is so important. Oh, Pokey, will you grab my holy notes, honey? Hello? No, that's not it. I trained her so well. Okay. So, um, so I was thinking today, because I don't know about you, but have you noticed that everyone's been like grumpy and on edge and weird? Um, I don't know what it is. It's like in the air or something. It just seems like everybody's got some toot going on these days, just toot. And I'm not going to lie. Like, I think I'm even, I think I've got some toot going on lately. I'm just like, I don't know if it's Corona. I don't know if it's financial fear. I don't know if it's my friends bugging me. Like, don't do weird stuff. Don't do weird stuff to me. Because <laughs> I have problems with weird stuff. Don't be weird with me. Oh, okay. So I don't know. I don't know who it is. I, I'm, you know, I take responsibility for me. I got to stay in my lane. There's one, well, you know, there's two types of business, my business and none of my business. So I'm just trying my hardest to stay in my lane today. I cannot do others. But what I was going to do, because one of my kids woke up just extremely grumpy today and I was like getting the, the, you know, the heat. And I thought to myself, okay, Lord, I can, dr I dress them as kids. I dress them. I put their shoes on, their shirt on. I dress them. I put their pants on, their underwear. I did that for them, right? So what's stopping me from dressing them now? I can dress them in their armor. Jesus said, I can pray for anything in his name and he will do it. So I'm dressing my children in their morning armor lately. I'm putting their helmet of salvation and the breastplate of righteousness and their sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and their shield of faith, which extinguishes every fiery dart that Satan tries to throw at us, and their belt of truth and their boots of peace. Yeah, I'm dressing my kids. I'm dressing all three of them every single morning. And um, I'm believing and having faith that they are actually in their armor today because of a mother's prayers. You know what? A praying mom, there is n nothing to fear more than a praying mother, except for maybe God himself. Okay, so we are going to be word up for not only ourselves, but for our kids. Okay, back to my holy notes, which I can't, oh, they're under my armpit. Okay, yeah, that's my life today. Okay, so... I'm putting my love lenses on, like no matter how just bizarre people seem to be acting, I am putting my love lenses on. I'm putting my love lenses on and I'm going to see the bizarreness through love. I'm just going to embrace 
the love and I'm going to embrace the weirdness that I'm experiencing in others with my love lenses on. I'm just going to do it in the mighty name of Jesus. And I would recommend that you do it too. And you know what? I'm not going to lead people to the cross today. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to love people to the cross with my love lenses on. Can I get a hallelujah? Beckett told me that hallelujah means uh, glory to Yeshua. Halle means glory. And then uh, yeah is Yeshua. Isn't that amazing? Yeshua. Yeshua? Yeshua? Yeshua. Okay. We have victory over the flesh today, guys. We have victory over the flesh. Do you realize that your soul is never going to see decay? Ever going to see decay? Ever. Like, we're going to go over the rainbow. We're going to go over the waterfall. And... Our soul is going to live for eternity once this experience is over. Once we are out of this zip code and into a new zip code, it's going to be an eternal zip code. And our souls are never, ever, ever going to see decay. I just think that is so incredible and so mighty and so freaking fantastic. It's fantastic. Okay, are you with me? Okay, here we go. Um, so yeah, make your word living and active in, t in me today, Jesus. Make your word living and active. We just have to remember that like the word of God is truly alive. It is not dead. It is alive. That's why it's food for the soul. That's why when we... Really? That's why when we read the Bible... Thanks for the help, love. Thank you so much. Both of you for that matter. What's up, Space Kitty? These two. I don't know what I would do without these two. Okay. So yeah, the word is alive and active. So when we read the word, we are actually eating live food. The most nutritious food we could possibly eat. Like forget a zucchini, a piece of kale, you know, forget uh, spinach. When we are reading the word, we are getting the most nutritious food we could ever eat for our souls. And our souls need it, guys. Don't be anorexic with prayer. Don't be anorexic with reading the word. Lord Jesus, don't let me be anorexic with the word. With the word. You're, the word became flesh. Oh my gosh. It's just so mind-blowing, all of it. It just never gets boring for me. You know what I'm saying? The God eternal is the God internal. He lives inside of us. So when he gets fed the word, because he, this is his royal residence. So when he's inside of us, guys, we are being, we are feeding not only ourselves, but we're feeding our Lord. He lives inside of us. We're feeding our Lord with his own word. That's profound. Whoa. Okay. Um, stop and pray. Because you are going to have victory over your faith today. And we can only do that through continuous prayer. And, you know, if you want to start praying all the time, everywhere, you got to start praying sometime, somewhere. What's up, Space Kitty? What do you need? I don't, I'm really sorry. Something is definitely going amok with my notes today. Okay, so I'm going to have an unusual dependence on God today. That's just my plan. I've just decided that, that that's my plan. I'm going to have an unusual... Yeah, it happened again. That's right. It did. I'm sorry. I, I'm going to have an... <laughs> There's a lot of wind out here today. I promise this is just not me being a complete spaz. Okay. We are going to have an unusual dependence on God today, which means basically that like we're going to pray in every single situation and we are going to remember that we have to train ourselves to be prayer warriors. It's, it's, it's about, it's about con continuous conditioning, conditioning ourselves to pray when we don't bloody feel like it, when we just don't want to do it, when we are thinking, I got this, God, I'm good. No, 
not good. We're not good. We are evil. And we are, you know, wicked in the, and, and, and nobody understands the true wickedness of the human heart. It took me a while to wrap my head around that because I was so new agey and I was like, I'm beautiful and I'm perfect and I am a light and I am a good person. But you know, the bottom line is, is that our works are filthy rags to God. Our works are filthy rags to God if we are not in Jesus. So we are in Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. And so we are seen without blemish, guys. We are seen without blemish. So love him and remember that he's your employer. If you're having financial fear today, like me, just remember, he is our employer. He, He's the boss. We got to run everything past the boss. So I'm just... I'm just resting in that today. Jesus is my employer. Lord, we thank you, Father God, today that you are our boss, Lord, that you are in the, 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 the holy seat and that we are not going to sit in that seat today. And if we're trying to sit in that seat, Lord, push us right out because you are the king. You are our father. You are in control. You are in control of everything that we cannot control. So we thank you, Lord Jesus, for your goodness and your mercy. And Father, today, I thank you for crowning us with your, with your crown of jewels, of gold, of perfection. We are made holy because of you and because of your blood and because of your sacrifice. Lord Jesus, show us today how to have a sense of humor. Show us today how to ha have our love lenses on. Show us today how to walk other people home. Show us today that the grass is not always greener on the other side, but it's greener where you water it. Show us how to water our garden today, God. Lord Jesus, show us how to reach out to another person who's suffering today to get us out of our own little petty problems and situations. They're probably not even problems. They're just situations. Look at what's going on in Texas, God. Show us how to pray for others. Show us, Father God. Oh, Lord Jesus, we thank you for your sacrifice. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your, for your unbounding love. We love you, God. You, are, you love us with an immeasurable love. It's a love that we can't even comprehend. And we thank you for that, Jesus. And thank you for letting us stop today to, to, to smell the roses, hear the birds, have a laugh, have a cup of tea, sit down, relax, breathe. Just enjoy the goodness of being alive. In Jesus' name we pray, your excellent name, amen, and peace of God.